If you haven't been to downtown Knoxville recently, you might owe yourself a visit. After years of revitalization, the place is bustling with all kinds of new business. Well, Gretchen Bates went on a shopping spree there recently before finally refueling at a place called Sweet Peas. It's a state thing, and not just region, you know, because even within a region in the south, you've got Memphis ribs, which are dry rubbed, and then, you know, on, on our side of the state, uh, people like, like sauce on it. Uh, in North Carolina, you've got vinegar sauce. In South Carolina, you got mustard sauce. You know, in Texas, they do beef. So, I think barbecue is, is state to state. See how these look. When it comes to barbecue, Chris Ford has paid his dues. As owner and operator of Sweet Peas, he's had years of experience running a successful restaurant. But it was during his time on the road that he was seduced by the smoky succulents of this southern staple. I actually started in the music business, um, and I had toured all over the United States, uh, concentrated in the South. And that was just kind of one of our hobbies, you know, eating barbecue. Uh, we had a road manager from Asheville, and uh, he cooked barbecue, kind of taught me how to do it. Uh, we had a big, large group of people we had to feed. Uh, so between feeding the guys uh, on off weeks and uh, traveling and eating at every great barbecue place this country has, you know, I felt kind of like once I got out of the business, I knew a little something about it and uh, went from there. And there turned out to be Chris's hometown of Knoxville, a city surrounded by a wide variety of barbecue styles, which is reflected in Sweet Pea's menu. Well, with our close proximity to North Carolina, and because that's kind of my favorite barbecue, we do what I like to call kind of a mix of North Carolina and Tennessee. So I love Memphis ribs, so we do dry rub ribs. Uh, our original sauce we call thin sauce, and I based it off of North Carolina sauces. We also have a thick sauce, though, because around here, people do like a tomato-based sauce. So we're kind of a mashup of what I think uh, our location is, right? Knoxville's never really had much of a barbecue style, um, so I just tried to kind of do the best of what I think of Tennessee barbecue and North Carolina. So what we've got here are St. Louis cut ribs, and that is not a style of cooking. It is a the way they're, the spare ribs are cut and squared off. Um, like I said earlier, we do a, a simple dry rub. Um, Dylan here gets them rubbed up. When these come off, all we'll do is finish them with a little bit of our rub. No sauce. You know, if the customer wants to sauce them, that that, that is their prerogative. Really, they are perfect when you eat them. It doesn't really need sauce. Chris's creations also pay homage to the Lone Star State. We saw a lot of brisket, actually. You know, now that brisket is really kind of not just a Texas thing anymore, obviously they are the holy grail of beef barbecue, but uh, we saw a lot of brisket. Another reason I got into this, uh, and really wanted in the Knoxville food scene to have more scratch-made stuff, stuff that um, you, know, you put your heart and soul into every day with, with the, the best ingredients. And we really try to, to live up to that, you know. Um, the smoker runs 24-7, seven, seven days a week. Um, you're always going to get something fresh. Uh, all the recipes are made in-house, you know, we don't bring anything in. Uh, and I think we do a great job, not just with our meats, but with our sides. You know, it's kind of a complete menu. Don't leave without sampling the pie or other sweet treats. We do a chocolate chest pie. We do uh, chocolate chip bacon cookies. Uh, try to put a little pork in everything. Uh, and of course, banana pudding. You know, you can't have a place in the South without banana pudding. I've never had the banana pudding, but my siblings die for it every time. They say it's like the best part, but yeah. So I've heard the dessert is really good. The banana pudding was, was perfect. Hey guys, how was everything? Whether you ask a regular or a first time customer, there seems to be a consensus. It's been fantastic. The uh, brisket was perfect. They put a dry rub on it. I'm a big fan of the chicken. The uh, macaroni and cheese was baked or something on top of everything else and it was just perfect. And I love like the staff here, they're super friendly and they're super nice and the food is just incredible. The great food is complemented by a fun, cozy atmosphere that Chris calls. Shabby chic, uh, that's kind of our look. Our, our whole brand is a, as an ode to Knoxville. We collect World's Fair memorabilia in 1982. Knoxville had the World's Fair, which I think is kind of hilarious. You know, we were featured on The Simpsons for it. Uh, so we really embrace that. 
If you prefer outdoor dining, just head upstairs. We have what we call the trailer park, um, where we do our live music series, and it's just a great space for relaxing. You know, East Tennessee has great weather in the spring and fall, uh, and so it's kind of an ode to 70s trailer park. As Chris said, Sweet Peas covers a multitude of barbecue styles. In fact, they've gone international with their world famous barbecue burrito. The burrito is one of our best sellers. Well, you know, in Memphis, uh, they, they've always done barbecue nachos. You see barbecue spaghetti. So when we when we started the menu, we really wanted a signature dish, uh, and the burrito was just something we came up with. As an Oxvillian, as a Southerner, you, you, you know, I, I'm really proud of where I'm from. And, and I think when you leave here, I, I, a again, like I said, it's it's an ode to Knoxville. I'd like you to learn a little something about our city and about Southern culture. You know. Uh, Southern foods, I grew up on it. It's what I love to eat. It's another reason why I started this kind of restaurant. Uh, so I think when you come to Sweet Peas, you're getting a true slice of Knoxville.